paid off. I don't shave until something crazy happens when I'm just absolutely in the zone. It's almost become a ritual. My nice little scarf right here is actually my next wiring harness. Well, part of it anyway. This harness was originally meant for the Corvette. So take this off, throw it on the Corvette. We have a Corvette running. Things have heated up so quickly with the dyno that we're going back again today. So it'd be a one day after the first one. We maxed out the fuel injectors. The primary injectors are all at about 80% and it gets crazy from there because that was only at 6,500 RPM. Imagine once you go even higher, it's just 100% very quickly. The rate of acceleration of this car is just unseen. I've never seen this before. It's just a harness with all eight injectors for all the 2600s. These wires actually ground the injectors. The other wires are just power. That's why it's still hooked up on the truck and trailer. And then we're going right back at it at the dyno and making, I don't know what we're going to make. My goal right now, realistically, is 25 PSI. I don't know what, 20, I don't know what 25 PSI is on this car, but uh, we'll find out together. This is how I'm going to do the concentric twisting. Just an absolute mess of wires. There's metal down there. But this is how it's really done on this car. Once you put heat shrink on a wiring harness, magically everything looks perfect, even though really, the hard part's done here. Making sure there's like one wire on the outside of every edge of this big, thicker power wire. And I, I purposely picked it to be slightly thicker so that way all the wires would evenly go across with a little bit of spacing. It's almost like playing with Barbies. Gently run your hands through this. This is very satisfying work to do, by the way. And then you just kind of work the rest of the, the kink out. And I have to give the guys that HP Academy a major shout out for that because they have a, a video series on it. I didn't watch it but I watched their preview for it and then started reading up on it. I did buy their tuning program, and while my wiring harness will still be mediocre, the tuning was not. This is the main stock of my temporary harness for my extra injectors. This was not meant to be. I was not normally gonna do this, but Elliot's here. We're all in a good mood. The car is responding better than ever. This is the satisfying part. Look at that. You can actually feel it too. It just kind of spins in your hands. Zip tie. I went past the spot that I needed to go. I can always unravel it super easy. How flexible this core is. If you had it just like that, you can actually see it bind up. And I'm not even trying, I don't have nothing to prove. I'm not a wiring guy, but I'm not trying to sell you on anything. But you can see that they, they like fray and they have issues like this. This part, you see it doesn't even lose its shape. That is one of the coolest things I've ever been taught by the internet. We are back at it again. I'm gonna skip a lot of the steps that are obvious for most of you. If you guys miss loading the car up on the dyno, you can actually watch the previous video if it, if it pulls at your heartstrings. I just wanna save a lot of your time because let's be honest, we all know why you guys are here. I know why I'm here. I got an all wheel drive four rotor, but you guys wanna hear it perform. I got all eight injectors set up. We got the wastegate controls figured out. We got 16 PSI wastegate springs, so we could in theory go up to 30 PSI. We're gonna load it back up and give her, the beans. give her the beans, the whole enchilada. <laughs> We've just got the wastegate all working and I had to do a little bit of slight reordering on my injectors because just like my primary injectors, the first rail, it actually goes primary, 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 secondary, 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 secondary. Ignore this mess, you know, I'm known for this, but this is not the permanent harness. Right guys, not not permanent harness. Yeah, Isaiah actually soldered for once. Uh, his soldering job was as good as my welding job. Actually, it was good as my soldering job too. This is the moment where I'm supposed to be extremely nervous and I'm not because it's factual. This made me a little nervous thinking about it right now because I was gonna say that, hey, you know, I'm not really nervous, but you just get so caught up in the moment of, okay, let's make this strap down. Let's make sure that this wire is working. Let's make, you know, if you get into that mindset, you forget that you're going for some serious power on an experimental car. So that, that part is actually pretty crazy, but here we go.
by the way. That's why I pulled off. <laughs> well, look, we're making even more power and we're only at 50. 50s. Yeah, and it, you can see it's going to. Yeah. Oh, so you thought it was over boosted. Yeah, yeah. That is skyrocketing. Elliot let off because I swear I told him that we changed wastegate springs, but we were throwing a lot of information at him. Um, this car is an animal, absolute animal. <laughs> that was quite a bit of the yesterday. Yeah. Like 200 horsepower. <laughs> yeah. Feed into the engine. All the little points you see. Yeah. However much smoothing you put on the graph right there, see how it's set at 10. So yeah. it's just applying a smoothing factor between all those points. I see. Whereas the data on the other screen, if you go back to it, it's just showing. So if yeah. there's any lumps where the power would just peak up real fast, yeah. oh, that I see. would show that. Whereas okay. this chart would smooth that little bump yeah. out. So this is a, a Mustang dyno? Yeah, it's a Mustang 500 SE, okay. which means single eddy. Okay, so that single eddy. Single eddy. Okay. I'm trying to see where the uh, torque actually stops, but that, <laughs> that's no, like a it, yeah. boost curve. Ah, too. We're 15% into a second. Oh, so they're, they're working? Yeah, it's all working. I already I did some earlier tests. She sounded so good. Good. Yeah. so good. So I put about two gallons in. Wait, two gallons after three pulls? Yeah. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> what I was going to do actually is just after every pull you stop, I was going to add, add more gas. Just got to want the fuel pumps to get hot. We're at 28% duty cycle on that. So. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. Yeah, I'm, it's liking it, so. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we have plenty of injector yeah. to do what we're going to do, so I'm not going to monkey with it. Another 200 RPMs or something? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that jumped like another 50 horsepower? Yeah. Look at it, 666 foot pounds of torque. The torque's yeah. disgusting. I'm, I'm not used to how violent it is, so I'm trying yeah. to be like overly cautious. Because yeah, yeah. once I decide to pull off, it's already shooting another 1,000 RPMs. The torque curve is keep going up and up because the boost is also going up as RPM. Wow. It would have broke by now, I guarantee it. Okay. What's your strategy from here? What's our, like, what's our next couple pulls in your mind? We're just gonna increase the RPM. RPM, RPM, RPM. Yeah. I wanna point out, that is a 106 millimeter turbo. Let's point, let's remember that. That's a, that's the largest turbo, uh, until the 47 comes out, that is the largest turbo Garrett makes. This car is spooling well be below that. We're getting positive boost in the 3000s. What we're gonna do next is just continue increasing it by 500 RPM each time, and then the boost goes up at 18 pounds of boost. Put it in perspective, we made what, 900, 950 or 920, somewhere there, at 35 pounds of boost on the three rotor. Both pumps are on low, and we finally hit the limits of low. I'm not saying that these are the peak. The ECU could accommodate, we could continue going up but that's not what we got these pumps for. So right now we're at 820, 840 horsepower, and that's on the fuel pumps on low on E85. So here we are, watch this. I'm gonna go ahead and just go from low to high by ungrounding the two signal lines. There's one, there's two. So we now have two pumps running at full. Pissed off, ready to go. Uh, Isaiah just put half a gallon of gas just to top it off. Uh, after one pull, <laughs> after just that one pull, and we're at what, six, uh, 7,000? The one from MPG. Oh, sorry, we're at 6,500 RPM. Upping the fuel pressure, added fuel. Wastegates are opening up, and uh, it's time to plug in the wastegate controller. These are still just cold, right next to the, one of the hottest things on earth.
How's it going? Is that like the fender's blowing off or something? Like, so far, nothing. No, there's been some shit flying. Yeah, there's shit flying, yeah. Oh, man, you're shaking the room up, and you're dusting it out for me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of happy here, and I kind of want to leave it here. I know we want the thousand. <laughs> Oh, we're seeing, we're seeing. I can tell because it's like, right. yeah. <laughs> 780 from all the torque or something? 980, that's what I did. I didn't even look. I was yeah. too busy looking over here. You made 20 more, we could go home. Yeah, yep. We were going to make 500 horsepower. That was a set goal because you were even too like, hey. Yeah, let's, you're right. Let's not overshoot this. and Wow. We're almost there. All right, let's make this happen. Yep. Oh, we built this motor on two tires. That's and fucking three right. Three days, two tires. We're at 980 at the wheels on a Mustang Dyno all-wheel drive. This is a rotary and we're at 700, almost 800 foot-pounds of torque and it's just up there and it holds. This is just a nasty, nasty car. Remember, this thing weighs 2,400 pounds right now. 980 is a thousand to me, but I, I want to see four digits. I, I promised this a long, long time ago and I'm, I'm not giving you guys anything less, so. <laughs> Proving to people, not only are we making it once, we've made it several times, really. You want to see how many dyno pulls we've done? Yeah, yeah. How many dyno pulls have we done? That's not including all the driving. Oh yeah, you're right. That's not just all the sweeps. Oh my god. <laughs> We did, we did it. We did it. We did it. We the, that was confetti. That, that we did it. 2014. We got confetti from all the heat wrap on the exhaust that I set there. That was that couldn't have gone any better. Oh my God. How much torque? 782 to all four, all four tires. 786. Yeah. I think it does when it. Yeah, when it's it's the the final. It's, 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 yeah, it's quite hard. hard. It's, yeah. it's definitely held together well. I still got my arms. Drag yeah, shaft. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> that needs to be in the video. Showing a drag shaft three inches from my, my arm. Oh, that's conquered. I'm not doing it again. <laughs> Still runs. It was pulling. I mean, we were we were basically doing thousand horsepower pulls over and over again. It was just be. Where's the? You know. You know how it is with the internet. This is the team that put this together all the way from assembling an engine that a lot of you said would never run to pulling multiple. 1,000 horsepower all-wheel drive pulls. She's coming off the rollers perfectly fine. It's running, it's actually, we just broke it in, is basically how that feels. We I did it. We'll be back for some horsepower. Guys, we did it. <laughs> <laughs>